this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Since last time I spent a lot of money on new equipment and stuff, and took care of the propositions and everything, so now let's move on to the next battle. Let's see, for this one, do I have you on white magic? Yeah, let's bring her along. Why not? Try and spread out my characters a little more than that. You over there. There we go. That ought to do. Now this battle, we're going to have a lot of undead to deal with. That's one reason why I'm bringing my, uh, well, not a priest anymore, my oracle along. I made her into an oracle so that way she could equip the wizard rod for the excellent magic attack boost. Because, as a priest, she can't equip rods. So, priests aren't allowed to use rods in this game. But yeah, even the human characters, they're all undead. You could use uh, Mistadio's Seal Evil ability if you really wanted to. I don't think they're going to listen to you. I think we got to uh, take them out. Again, send them to the Lost Souls room. Now one thing about Agrias' Holy Sword attack, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, why don't you equip 108 gems on her? Because, well, they're Holy Sword attacks, right? They're Holy Elemental, aren't they? No, they are not. Uh, holy, it's a bug in the game. Holy Sword is Weapon Elemental. So whatever... Let's do this, actually. Whatever weapon you have equipped, that's the element of your attack. Even though it says in the menu, when you look up the Holy Sword attacks, that they're Holy Elemental, it's lying to you. It's a bug. So whatever ele weapon element you have equipped is what the game will... F is what it is. But actually, the AI for the game thinks that it is Holy Elemental. So let's say you're fighting s uh, someone who, you know, might be the <laughs> hardest boss in the game, and they use Holy, ele holy Sword against you, well, you could equip something that absorbs Holy Elemental attacks, and even though they aren't Holy Elemental, the game, or the AI, thinks they are. So that's something you could use to your advantage. So yeah, uh, it's not gonna, having Holy Elemental attacks is not gonna be very helpful for us. But I can take them out all the same. Wow, look at that damage! No, that is not because it is Holy Elemental. That is because... Well, I'll show you what I did to Agrias there. I uh, equipped her with a Bracer. That thing costs 50,000 gil. But it boosts your attack power by three. And a much better sword there, too. So, yeah, that's why her attack power just suddenly skyrocketed like that. So, yeah. Holy cow. Actually, speaking of holy... Let's just cheer up, Krona. I was going to take out that ghost, but, you know, one reason why I brought my Oracle along was because... I want to demonstrate holy to you to show how powerful it really is. And it is really powerful. So, let's just uh, stand pat for now. Hmm. Can I get over there? Now, now let's just uh, take it easy with the teleport. Don't go too far. I've learned all the spells that I really care about, so I'm not really worried about gaining JP now. That's one reason why I have uh, Sa uh, Ramza, the samurai, equipped with gain JP up still, because he still's got a lot of abilities to learn. Unfortunately, the uh, draw out skills do take a long time to get all of them. But eventually, I will equip magic attack up. But not today. I would like to uh, learn Kiyomori for him. It costs 500 JP, so. Gotta be, uh, it'll take a little while, but, uh, I, I, I'm almost there. Because I just learned, or I just was able to purchase Kiyomori's, so. Let's see how holy, whoa! <laughs> yeah, you see why I called this overkill, viewers? Why I haven't been using it? No, actually, that's because, ow. That's because, uh, they're weak to holy, they're undead. But even so, even half that damage is obscene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that can be a little abusive. So, yeah, that's why I haven't been using Holy this whole time. I wonder if Chakra would heal them. Nah, let's not worry about it. 
Can I use both fists? There we go! Using both fists actually made a difference this time around. Hmm. I wonder if I kill more. It would, no, it wouldn't heal him because it wouldn't even target him. Or, my heavens. Or, Mirasame. Yeah, it wouldn't even target the guy, so I can't heal him with that. Well, just take him out the old-fashioned way. Not that I'm going to be using these for much longer. How are you doing there, Ramza? You're all... Game? Gotta be getting close. Game! Uh, I'm 7 JP away. Well, I want to finish it off so I can use it for the next battle. So... Maybe I can get in a cheap fire spell without killing the guy? Of course not. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're not gonna learn Kiyomori today. Never mind. Well, I can learn it later. Whatever. It, all it does, Kiyomori, it gives you Protect and Shell. But it's guaranteed accuracy. So that's the really nice thing about the buffs that you can do with the, uh, the, the draw out skills. It's pretty much guaranteed to work. So yeah, it's really nice. But, well, we're not going to have it for the next battle. Oh, well. Well, there are a couple changes that I want to make before the next battle. Regardless, I can't learn that ability that shall not be named ever again. But I want to equip Ignore Height. And now, at this point, absolutely, 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 absolutely make a save file before entering this dungeon. If you do not have a backup save file, and you are not prepared, you're playing this game for the first time, you will live to regret it, and you will have to start all over. Yes, this happens to everyone who plays this game. It happened to me the first time I played it. I had to start over because we've got a lengthy sequence here. Let's put it that way. Riovanes Castle. Even people who haven't played the game know how tough this place is. Ah, oh, and there's Weegrim. Ah, oh, I suppose they would be working together. Oh, it seems like a nice place. Got a nice area rug there. They had area rugs back then? Well, I suppose they've had them for thousands of years, so... I suppose, why not? Well, they're commanding the armies still. I want to ramble a bit. Why not? Who is he, anyway? Some Duke arms dealer or something? Or the guy with assassins or something? I don't know. We'll learn more about him. Well, yeah, you, you guys are the only ones who have stones anymore. Yeah, we heard about that. Excuse me, Princess. Our, uh, Grand Duke. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. We're not chasing. Well, are they chasing me? Oh, well, the churches, I suppose. But I suppose these guys are... Well, whatever. Oh, hey, it's Islud from before. And his uh, jump attacks. Holy cow. Well, I didn't have a problem with that, but usually I do. Nuts. Oh, I was like, how did they get them? I was like, wait a minute, we have them! And I was like, oh right, he gave them to, uh, Alma. Or Ramza did. And they kidnapped her.
Ah, so Vormav, or sorry, I kind of glossed over it. Vormav is Islud's father, so. You know, you see that trope so often, you know, it just goes in one ear and out the other. You don't, uh, you know, pay attention to that sort of thing anymore. Well, it's just a book. Of course, they might be a little upset that the church is kind of taking power. What, what's he going to do? Well, we got two on three. Well, what do you mean by that? You're, you're human, aren't you? Does lightning have to strike after every sentence? <laughs> I like how they only show part of the transformation process there. Nice touch there, game. But can we even make it inside of Real Venice Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!